This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Help the painter paint the path to the traffic cone. So let me hit run and I should see nothing. So first we have to instantiate our object. And that's a fancy way of saying make our painter. So our know our class is painter. Now we have to name our painter. I guess this time I'm going to do Paul. It doesn't really matter what you put here. I could do Jen. I could do Fred. Whatever you put, you just have to use it throughout. Paul is going to be equal to new painter. Bam. Okay. So now I have a painter object. Let's see. Quepal. So far, so good. Now I'm going to want to take this paint as it tells me here. So I'm going to say Paul. Now, if you name this Fred or my painter, you got to type that here. I'm going to say Paul, move it on forward. Except I'm not going to say it like that. <laughs> and then, well, except I just did. Huh. So maybe I did say it like, yeah. All right. So Paul dot take paint. Boom, boom, boom. And that's only one paint, though. We have one paint. Control C, Control V, or Command V on a Mac. Two paint, three paint. Let's give this a shot thus far. Yep, and the bucket's gone. Guys, make sure you do the dot, you do lowercase, capital P, parentheses, and semicolon. Any little detail, your computer is going to get real grumpy real quick. All right, so I have three paint. So I'm going to go ahead and paint right away because I'm standing on a square. Paint, and you can pick whatever color you want. I remember brick red was an option, so I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to move. And then, oh, nope, this is going to break because move doesn't have an argument. I'm going to move and then I'm going to paint. And notice I'm using Paul every time. And that is because I created Paul, which is a painter, instantiation of the painter class here. And I broke something. Name is not recognized. Take paint, brick. What? Let me go to documentation. See, documentation helps. Let me. Dark red, fire brick. Ugh, I was close. So with computers, though, you have to be exact. Okay. There we go. And now I'm going to move and paint again. So I'm just going to copy, paste. I'll say teal. And then I'm going to need to turn. Uh, now, this is a right turn, but we only have turn left. So I'm going to do Paul. So I have to do turn left three times to actually turn. I'm also going to add a comment to clarify. Okay. And guys, remember, comments are just for programmers. The computer doesn't run this code. It's just a note for others. OK, and then I'm going to move forward. And let's see if I've made a mistake yet. Yeah. Cool. And now this has a three on it, so I'm going to take paint three times. Since I've already done that before, I'm going to do right click copy or command click on a Mac, right click paste, take three here. Boom, boom, boom. Now, sweet, I got a paint refill and I'm going to go ahead and start painting again. And now I need to move. And then I should have to turn left. And I did. Right. I moved and I tried to give it an argument. So move, I have to do independent from paul.paint. I have a bunch of extra space here. Awesome. Now, guys, keep in mind, there's things like, notice where I turned left here. Would it matter at all if I turned left here and then I painted it orange? No, it's not going to change a thing, right? Because now when I get here, watch, I'll turn left and I'll paint. Or I can paint and then turn left. So as long as you're accomplishing the end goal here, your code is right. There's not really a right and wrong if you're getting the job done. Also, pick better colors than me. I'm grading a lot of these. Cool. Onward.